practice problems for question number eight. In how many different ways can you make 65 cents using quarters, dimes, and nickels? Okay, so I know I have quarters, 25 cents, I have dimes, 10 cents, and I have nickels, 5 cents. And I want to make 65 cents in as many different ways as possible. I want to know how many different ways can I make 65 cents using only quarters, dimes, and nickels, or 25s, 10s, and 5s. Now, one way to do this would be to list all the possibilities. So, you would do something like this. You'd say 25 cents, which is quarters, then 10 cents, dimes, 5 cents, nickels. And then, draw a table, and try all the different possible combinations. Now this is the safest way and it is correct. However, it will take some time. So is there a shortcut? There is. First of all, let's try with the biggest, let's start with the biggest numbers we have, which is 25. Okay, then we're gonna go with 10, then five. Now, can you make 65 cents using three 25s, three quarters? No, because that's 75. So the biggest possible numbers, uh, number of quarters that I can use is two. So two quarters. Now, pay attention here. Two times 25 is 50. You can only use 110 with that, right? Because 50 and 10 is gonna be 60. Then you're gonna use 15, easy. Okay, or you can use no 10s at all. So two times 25 is 50, and you're left with 15 cents, which is three five cents. Now, here you should be able to realize some kind of a trick, which is 65 is divisible by 5. So basically, you can make 65 cents using only 5 cents, only nickels, okay? Or you can use a combination of quarters and dimes and nickels. You're always going to be able to use nickels. So we don't, we don't need to count the different possibilities to make things easier. Let me explain um, in more details. If we go on to the next step, which is one, 25 cents, 65 minus 25 cents is 40 cents. So now you need to make 40 cents. Now to make 40 cents, you can either use one 10 cents or two or three or four, and we're gonna keep on trying. But if you think of it the other way and start with the biggest possible number first, 40 cents and four 10 cents, right? 40 cents can be made of four dimes. That's the biggest possible. Can I use five dimes? No, I can't, because that's 50. I only want 40 left, because I already have one 25 right here. So four and some combination of fives, doesn't matter how many. Or three and some combination of fives, or two and some combination of fives, or one and some combination of fives, or zero dimes and one combination of five. In all of these cases, I'm using 125 cents. Or I can use no quarters at all, no 25 cents at all. What is the maximum number of tens that I can use to get 65? Six, right? I can't use seven because seven will be 70. So I can use six and some combination of fives. It doesn't matter. Or five tens or four or three or two or one or no dimes at all. So that's how many cases I have. I didn't have to calculate the exact value for each one. So how many do I have? Let's take a look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Answer is 